Dacia hasn't reinvented the duster for 2018. Instead, the rough and ready SUV has been subtly upgraded, eliminating the weak spots and ironing out many of the old car's faults. The new model is more comfortable, more modern, and better equipped, and its cheap price is likely to remain unequaled for some time to come. The Romanian Renault sub-brand is still on the rise. It's all going very well at Dacia. The Romanian-based Renault sub-brand has grown all across Europe, and now has an impressive 1% market share in the UK. For comparison, it sold five times as many models as Alfa Romeo in 2017, and more than twice as many as Lexus. In total, Dacia has built over 2 million cars since it relaunched in Europe in 2010. The no-nonsense Duster SUV has proven to be one of the maker's most popular cars. However, for 2018 Dacia is injecting some style. The new model, which was revealed at September's Frankfurt Motor Show, will appear in UK dealers in mid-2018. It's built on the same platform as before, and the dimensions remain virtually unchanged. The design is fresh, but while there's more jewelry and the odd upmarket trinket, it's still recognizable as a Dacia. The striking honeycomb grille, LED daytime running lights, 17-inch wheels, and square tail lamps give it a look not dissimilar to that of the fresh and funky Jeep Renegade SUV. The cockpit is new as well, and it's been visibly upgraded for the new year. The NAV screen is now higher up and closer to the driver's field of vision, and the instruments are large and clear. Even the buttons and switches have been upgraded, and are subsequently more attractive than before. The seats are much improved, too. Until now they've always been a bit spongy, but the new ones are bigger, better contoured and more firmly trimmed. However, while there's plenty of room in the front, rear space is restricted. Boot capacity has also dropped slightly, from 475 to 445 liters, while 4x4 versions are smaller still. Folding the seats reveals a 1478 liter load bay, down from 1636 liters, still slightly ahead of the Vauxhall Mocha X and Mini Countryman. Engine options are unchanged for the revised car, with a decent range of petrol and diesel units. The entry-level model comes with a naturally aspirated 1.6-liter petrol motor, while a single 108 bhp diesel joins the 1.2 TCE tested here without the pricey 4x4 option. For us, the 123 bhp 1.2-liter petrol is the pick of the range. This modern turbo is a detuned version of the TCE 130 unit found elsewhere in the Renault range, and it's pleasantly quiet and cultivated.